Okay, welcome to this uh, series. Um, and the series, as you can probably tell by the uh, title of it, is I'm going to be showing you how to create a complete file upload site. Now, I have a, I already have a tutorial on YouTube and uh, developphp.com that shows you how to do some basic file uploads. Um, but the thing about that is, is it's really only just to like throw into your site um, and uh, what this series is going to show you is how to pretty much how to take that upload site and uh, make it member based where you can uh, only users can upload files they can share files um, all that good stuff um, so yeah so we're going to be using uh, we're going to have a, a MySQL database and a couple of tables and we're going to make it so you can search the files that people upload. You'll be able to include some basic information about the files and, uh, and all that good stuff. So let's get started. Uh, I'm going to be using Dreamweaver CS4 uh, for the series. Uh, now, if you don't have it, uh, it's definitely a great program to have. And if you don't want to pay for it, then there are alternative ways to get it for free. But I recommend buying it. So in Dreamweaver, I'm just going to create a new site, and I'm going to change my root folder to my tutorials folder and my upload site folder, which is essentially just a blank folder. You can see it right here. There's nothing inside of it. And then, whoops, not that one, this button. I'm going to create a new folder inside of here, and I'm just going to call it images, and... That didn't change. Oh, I'll just hand type it. And so we're going to have a couple of different images for our layout of the site. And I'm just going to call it upload sites. And okay. So you can see over here in the files panel, it loads up. And we now have our images folder. And if we refresh our uh, server, images folder. Yay! So I'm going to right click on the root folder, the site folder. And I'm going to create a new file, and I'm going to call it index.php. And I'm going to open it up. So if you're using Dreamweaver like I am, um, sorry, got a text. Um, if you're using Dreamweaver like I am, then if you go to the code view, you can see if you have a, uh, uh, once, you, once you create a new file, you'll have all this code in here. Now, I definitely recommend uh, keeping this code and having this code in any website you create because it'll make it a universal website in other words it'll work for just about every browser it'll be more compatible um, instead of just coding for a specific browser uh, this will make it more compatible for every browser so that's definitely uh, very nice so yeah so uh, right in between here, oh yeah, I will be releasing source code for this entire website uh, that we create. I will release source code every couple of videos, uh, since this is essentially just going to be one really long video, um, a couple hours long in total, I hope, uh, going over a lot of different things. Um, and you'll be able to download this source code, but it'll probably be at least every like five or so videos, uh, every time we do like a major update or something. Okay, so uh, you can see right here we have our title tags inside of our HTML tags. And right here we have untitled document. Now this is the title of the page. If we refresh here, you see we have a title here, untitled document. So if we change this to say upload site home and we save and refresh our page, you see we have upload site home and down here as well and Google Chrome. So that's how to uh, put a title on any page. You just have to throw this inside of your HTML, preferably at the top. I mean, it's kind of pointless to put it at the bottom because you usually have all of your uh, information at the top. Okay, so inside of our body tags right here, I'm going to throw in a couple of lines. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a, a couple of divs. And the first one, we're going to give an ID of wrapper. Now, I always use wrapper as my main ID. I don't know why. I just do. Maybe it's because when I was first starting out in programming, uh, 
one of Tutvid's tutorials. Uh, he, he uses Wrapper, and I've used it ever since. Uh, so yeah. And with Dreamweaver, you can just start to finish off uh, right here. You can start to finish your div. All you have to do is type that in. It'll automatically fill it in, which is very nice. So our div ID wrapper is going to be our main container for our website. Uh, it'll probably be around 900, 950 pixels. Um, so it'll be from about here to about here. Uh, and that's because I have a really crappy screen. Um, and my screen doesn't have a very high resolution. Uh, so yeah, so then we're going to indent, we're going to create another one, div id equals, and we're going to call this one nav for our nav bar, our navigation bar. I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this a couple of times, space it out a little bit. Okay, and our next one is going to be left. Now this is going to be like a, we're going to have a two column layout uh, for the majority of our site, so we're going to have a column somewhere in here and then another smaller column or we might have it vice versa so we're also going to need a right and we're going to need a footer so we're going to have a navigation bar a left uh, column a right column and a footer now that's essentially just going to be the entire layout of the site and most of our content well all of our content really is going to be inside of either our left or our right uh, div so now we have this created we're going to create a new folder in our original directory and I'm going to call it design and inside of our design folder we create a new file and we're going to call it layout.css so uh, you don't necessarily have to create that if you're using Dreamweaver because if you come over here and you click new CSS rule in the CSS panel CSS styles panel you create new CSS rule button you can see we have it already created now first of all we need to create one for our wrapper so if you just select right next to our wrapper div click new you see it automatically fills it in now I'm just going to set this as compound uh, and the rule definition we're going to set it as a new style sheet and we're going to click OK now you can see automatically it pops up with this to save our style sheet if we go into our designs we already have our file created and we're going to overwrite it because there's nothing inside of it yet. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to box and we're going to give this a width of about 900 pixels. Uh, now I will show you the source code and how to code this out. I really don't use the, this whole little dialog for my CSS or any of my coding really. Um, there's only a few things I use it for. But just to show you what's here, it's a very powerful tool and it's just great for using uh, so that's all I'm going to do in here so click OK and there's really no visual change except the fact we have this this code will include any CSS uh, any CSS style sheet inside of your website you just have to include this inside of your head uh, tags right there so right there you change this to your directory and your file name and then you keep this stuff the same so if we save and we save our CSS page right here, you can see it, it already. Uh, Dreamweaver already includes the various uh, various pages we have included, or uh, we have well we have included into our uh, pages. It automatically throws them up here in this little bar, which is really really nice, really handy. So yeah, um, and you can see right here it automatically created this for us. Now this is how you set up a uh, CSS style. And you can see this is how you uh, declare a width of uh, an item. And using this will be an ID, a pound symbol. That is how you set up an ID. Now a class, you would change it to a period. But since we're using ID, we have it as a pound symbol. So if we refresh, you see we still have nothing because we, have, we don't really have any content yet. So I'm going to stop this video here. Uh, in the next video, we will continue on with our site layout. So check out the next video.